Hey guys, and welcome. My name's NG Paradox, and welcome back to the Mandalay series, where last time we had some ups and downs. Um, I really thought at one point we may have actually lost our whole scheme just then, but somehow... I don't know if the game glitched or something with Winterfell when we first took it, we didn't capture them, but the second time we took it, we did win, which was uh, very odd. But yeah, Rickon Stark is now Lord Paramount of the North. Ah, the Starks are back. And here we have little Rickon. Bran is still missing beyond the wall. The War for Dawn is still ongoing. And actually, I think they're fighting... The wildlings, yes they are. The wildlings are defending themselves. They only have 67 men left. This is not looking good. Jon Snow, where are the rest of your men? A lot of people from Essos trying to help, but it doesn't seem to be enough. Seven men from uh, the Iron Isles are coming, apparently. Are they helping Jon Snow? Yes, the King Euron Greyjoy is actually helping with the War for Dawn. Okay. But yeah, so that all happened there. So that was perfect. Um, things are going very well for us, but there's still a lot of things to do. Our tasks now, this will not be a short series. This will probably be quite a long series. There's still a lot of things to do. We need to protect, obviously, Rickon. There's going to be lots of claimants to his um, position. Obviously, the most biggest problem is going to be the fake Arya Stark. Um, she was married to that pompous flint but she has three children who will yep they will get a claim when she dies so she's gonna be a problem now we can't seem to investigate her legitimacy so i can't really do anything about that for now i, I don't really know what to do if i don't think wyman would kill her that seems a bit too far but hopefully we can just protect the starks for as long as possible so that's something to look out for obviously uh sansa Littlefinger, they're going to be a problem. She has a claim on the north, so he could attack for her. Obviously, the Rickon does have a claim on the Riverlands, so he could attack them possibly at some point. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we do also want to get land in the Reach to get back, get revenge for when the Peaks and the Gardeners betrayed us. What are the Peaks? There they are. Titus Peak, you betrayed You betrayed us all. But yeah, hopefully we can get back down there. If we can as well, we'll also try and become um, Lord Paramounts of the Reach. We're not going to become Lord Paramounts of the North. We will be firm and loyal Stark supporters. If we can get to be Lord Paramounts of the Reach, maybe together we can get independence. Together, North and the Reach. We'll have to wait and see, though. That could be a long time coming. So let's just get things rolling in. Uh, I will just say as we begin, I must apologize. I have been exceedingly sick the last five days. I couldn't even get out of bed. Ooh, and another daughter. Janella Mandley. Not what I wanted. I was hoping for them to have a son, but it's fine. Her father now has a son named Wyman Mandley, named after me. What a good choice. I'm 70. Oh my, I did not realize how old I'd gotten. I'm really surprised he managed to see this day. <laughs> <laughs> he must have really good health or something. Um, but yeah, I, I can't be bothered to check. But yeah, Wyman, wow, you've done a good job living this long. So we've got now a young girl called Janella. But I have been very sick. Edwin Frey just died suspiciously. That's good. The Frey seem to be getting their comeuppance. They seem to be dying at the moment at a fast rate. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, your Legion's Council is discontent. So at the moment... During a regency, the council votes on all issues, even those normally outside their purview. Now, the regent is uh, Regent Barbary. Yeah. But there's no one else on the council, it would seem. So my council is fine. Yeah, they look good. They're actually very loyalist there. Everyone seems to like us, which is nice. Okay. Are there any people we should have in positions? Like, this guy's powerful. He expects to be in a position. Yeah, I should probably put him in one. Let's have a quick look. Is What was he good at? He's good at stewardship. Treasure. He's 13 now. If I replace him for him, maybe that would be the best thing to do. So we'll place him with him. Did that guy want... No, he doesn't need to be on it. Okay, yeah, so we'll put that guy there. He's actually a better Castellan anyway. Lord Alton Locke. And he expects to be there. He's a powerful vassal. So there we go. We've now got him on my council. What are you like? What type of man are you? He's a pragmatist. Okay, that seems fine for us. Um, Liege Council. Yeah, he needs to get a council. But I expect to be on this council, to be perfectly honest. I do expect it. I mean, obviously, Wyman will be loyal. But we'll have to wait and see. Maybe the Mandleys won't always be loyal. It depends on, obviously, the person we become. 
If my son obviously is mistreated by the Starks, we never know. We had had disturbing news from Old Castle of another atrocity committed by your Castellan, Lord Alton. Apparently Lady Belena bore him a stillborn child, which triggered a terrible rage. He ordered all the midwives and wet nurses, as well as all their families, be put into the dungeon and severely questioned. It is reported none survived the horrific torture. Wow. He is truly mad. Mr. Locke, what are you doing? Well, we'll keep him happy for now, but that, you know, we're going to have to deal with him at some point. That can't go unnoticed. But as I was saying, I've been very sick recently, so I've not been able to record. This is the first time I've recorded actually in maybe over a week, which is why you'll have noticed that a lot of the series has been kind of very spread out, especially the Mandley one. The last part I put out was the last one I had. So they've been kind of spread out. I do apologize for that. Hopefully now they'll get back to normal. But if I do seem a little bit off when I'm recording, if I do seem a little bit, you know uncertain or a bit hazy it's just because i'm still a little bit a little bit of a headache my, my voice has only just recovered and stuff so i, I do apologize for that but hopefully you do not notice or hopefully i can make it seem less noticeable all hail is grace rickon of house stark king in the north king of winter and the first men lord of winter and protector of the realm he just declared himself king what is it are we independent yes the king in the north we are independent are we at war we're not at war what the hell? <laughs> How did we just glitch this? Okay, so apparently Rickon is the claim of the king in the north. There we go. I did... Hmm. Very odd. Somehow he declares of king in the north. Um, Maybe they gave it to him? I mean, Rickon only has 4,000 men. So this seems like a very bad idea. This cannot end well. His heir is that flint... The, ba the, the child that Roderick and the fake Arya had, which is not good. Shouldn't it go to... I guess she is older. 24. Yeah, she's actually older than Sansa. That is why. Okay, now I see why. That. Oh, that's so ridiculous. We're going to have to kill them. We're going to have to kill you all. We can't let this happen. He's he's a flint. We have to get rid of him or something. We, we can't let this happen. What are we going to do? I have no idea. We have to just... Have to find something out. I guess we could probably marry him off to a Stark. Like, let's, let's just have a quick look. If I did it this, they'd say no. A better non-aggression pact. Okay, what about that? Oh, that won't make a difference, will it? Okay, I was trying to see if we could maybe marry him to a Stark or something. Okay, now it's... Oh, that's annoying. Rickon has to have kids. Willa, the fate of House Stark rests in my granddaughter's hands well in in your loins technically willa but it's down to you and and of course rickon of course it's down to both of you but yeah okay but down south erwin greyjoy is still independent he is fighting the white walkers though which is good for him he's a little bit depressed obviously his wars didn't go as planned so he's kind of just kept the iron isles he has a son though prince eric he's brave though which is kind of nice i guess tom Minerva has managed to keep peace throughout the whole realm um, we're going to have a quick look around the realm. We haven't looked down here for a long time. We've been concentrating ourselves in the war. Harold Aaron is uh, in the Vale, just being himself, just being the man he is. Littlefinger, of course. Uh, Cersei was released, it looks like, by Tommen. She's fine as well. He obviously couldn't hurt his own mother. Oh, well. So there we go. Tommen is the king. His heir is just great. The daughter might be his. Marjorie's not pregnant. Willis, obviously, in the Reach. Has two daughters at the moment. Ooh, Garland the Gallant's been imprisoned by the High Septon. What is it with Tyrells being imprisoned by the High Septon? I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> uh, Loras Tyrell. We should probably check out the uh, the Knights, the King's Guard, I think, I guess. Um, Ralph Buckley's the Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. Married to a lowborn. His son will inherit. Down in Dawn, we have. Prince Tristan Martell. So Tristan managed to inherit. Obviously, the Quentin died in dragon flames. Ariana, what happened to you then? You're pregnant. And you're with the captain of the Dornish Spearmen. And you're his concubine. What the... What the hell happened to you, Ariana? And she gave him a son? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so she's been... She, I guess we could say she ran off, we'll say. She ran off with a Dornish... Leader of a Dornish Spearman group, and so uh, Tristan had to take charge of Dawn. Interesting. Married to a Trant. 
two daughters as well. Um, the pirate king is Salada San, the elegant. Ah, I do like Salada San. Prince Bayan would be the next one. He's not too bad stat-wise overall. Um, obviously, Daenerys is off east. Yeah, Daenerys is off east. Off east. Sorry about that. See, I'm going to mispronounce things at the moment just because of my illness. It makes it hard to talk a little bit, so I do apologize. Uh, she's winning at the moment, though, 39%. Not surprising. Only got 15,000 men, but she's pregnant again. Another Dothraki. Daenerys, you cannot get enough of those Dothraki, can you? Can we can we get you married? Would you marry someone? Okay, how about how about my Yes. No. <laughs> too lowly rank, too young. Okay. Uh yeah, it was it was worth a shot to have a look at. But let's go back north then. So here we are up north. We have a new king in the north. Rickon is the new king. Rob and now Rickon. I feel like history is going to repeat itself. Now, I should really go north and help with the White Walkers, but we don't have many men, and like I said, I want to try and protect the Starks, so we need all the men we can get. The liberation of Dragonstone has ended. King Tommen won, of course. We have some claims to push. We can push for Talia Forrester. Okay, so we actually have Talia Forrester. I didn't even realize that. Um... Ah, oh, Griff died, did he? No, Torrin. What the? What happened to Griff? So Griff died. He died of pneumonia. I guess he died yet. Yeah, he died during the war, it looks like. So he, during the battles, he fought and, and he died, actually. Um, his brother became an arch archmaester. Wow, okay. <laughs> that's That's a fun one. But yeah. Okay, so we could push for her. That could be a possibility. Huh. Talia. Talia Forrester. She's married to Ryan Woolfield. So she's married to a Woolfield. Will he get his father's lands? Let's have a quick look here. So, oh yeah, that was her father. Let's have a quick look at the Woolfields. So he won't inherit. So that's probably a good thing then. So they won't have two pieces as well. I guess we could put the Foresters back. But it won't be the Foresters. It'll be the Woolfields, won't it? What about your brothers and stuff? What are they doing? Roderick the Ruin died of his injuries. Asher. Asher will not join us. He got married, apparently, to a, a roller worship. He's had two daughters. Well, isn't that lovely? One's got a, uh, a club foot, and the other is just normal. Ethan obviously is dead. Tally, we've got her. Mia? Mira, sorry. She married Morgan Bywater. She's had some kids. And then Ryan. Ryan is in Weeping Bay. Okay. He's got very good marshal, but he won't join us either. No reason to move. Okay. You could probably get a marriage. Nah, we'll leave it for now. Okay. Maybe we won't get the foresters in that. I mean, the the White Hills did help us get Rickon back in power. So I do feel maybe it's not fair to take it away from them personally. I, I feel that's how Wyman's going to feel. I know you guys obviously like the Foresters. I love the Foresters as well, but Wyman has no, he has no connection to the Foresters. Lord Harris has just has been brought peace to the troubled province. I'm very glad to hear that. Good, good, good. A thousand years ago, the Mandleys lived at the banks of the mighty River Manda, but we were driven away by House Gardner. We fled north and to Winterfell, a debt that can never be repaid. Yes. Rickon. Hopefully, we can repay it, though. Hopefully, this is, you know, put a little bit towards it. Hopefully, if she gives you a baby, again, that'll put a little bit towards it as well. Hope. We can only hope. Okay, 67% at the moment. Now, it looks as like the Grey just tried to fight them, and they lost. Let's put it down now to 27%. Riverrun has declared Esma's War for the Riverlands. Yes, here we go. I mean, that's not great, but it's better. So, just so Edmund has got back Riverrun. He took it, obviously, from the phrase, it would seem. Which is nice to see. He's got 3,000 men. He has three children. How many men do you have then? 4,000. This could actually be a pretty close battle. Has anyone helped him? No one's helping Edma. But maybe he can pull out of this. I'm no longer participating in the Lord Commander's War for Dawn. Has joined the war. Rickon has joined. There we go. Rickon has joined the War for Dawn. He must go help his brother. His bastard brother, Jon Snow, of course he does. Of course he is, it's Rickon. He, is <laughs> he needs more men. Why? What is going on with his council? 
why is his council so small? Is is Lady Barbary not letting him have a council? We've got to wait till she he's old enough. The 1st of January. It's on the 1st of January. It should be good. Hopefully then it'll be fine. He's sending apparently his wife to go battle while he stays at home. <laughs> he didn't turn out to be a great leader, it looks like. Um, he hasn't got his education trait just yet. But he's only got two learnings, so I'm not going to put up much hope. But then again, I don't know how the education system works exactly in this new version. I This is my first time playing the new version, in vanilla or in the mod, so I still don't have much experience of it. Leona Woolfield. No, I'm not going to kill your mother. Decline. I'm sorry. That's for you to do and for me to ignore. Ruler and Matt, well, because I'm widowed, that's why. Let's go through these things, actually. Now, do we commanders? Yes, we do. Let's go for Bartimus. I have to admit, our commanders weren't that great, I felt. In those battles, it looked like, especially in the center, we were, like, losing. I'm not exactly sure the battle system works at the moment. Maybe they've changed quite a lot, so now it's a lot closer than I thought it was. I hope Bartimus is my bodyguard as well. More claims. Extort subjects. Um, I'm not going to extort subjects because I don't want to take favors and stuff. We need to repay the loans, though, at some point. I could strive to become better, or I can be satisfied with who I am and what I have. I think Wyman, he's content. Yeah, I don't think he's, I don't think he's like the type of man who really is that ambitious to really go out and get stuff. You know, he obviously doesn't care about losing weight <laughs> or getting remarried, stuff like that. He, and he's happy being a high lord. He doesn't want the north. He wants to give it back to his his liege lord, the man, the family that helped them. And we're being beat back by them. Again, the Greyjoys are getting crushed. It's just sending more men in to die in the pile. That is really bad. Ooh, that's not good. They lost a lot of men. 9,000 men from Maya were there. Now there's only 2,000 left. This is not good. We might not win the War for Dawn. Jon Snow, do something. You have to save the realm. You are going to be the hero. We're, we're just, you know... We're just little men in this story, but you are going to be the hero. I do have enough men, but I'm still worried we might get attacked because he has so few men. He has 6,000 men. It's grown all the time. When he gets to be the no regency, I hopefully hope it will go up. But still, the Iron Throne is south, and they have no war right now. But Tommen is a craven. Maybe he won't attack. Um, I believe Lady Melissa Bolton has been in your custody for far too long. Oh, I completely forgot. Um, we have Bass. Okay, uh, we'll just release this guy. Melissa Bolton. She's the daughter of uh, Roos. Yeah, when I won the war, I guess I put them in as well. Bannon has been imprisoned by Rickon of the North. So he has him. And I have her. Who's asking this? Lady Kyra, her sister, nine years old. 75 gold, that would pay off our loans, but I think it's too dangerous. This young girl is very dangerous, to be honest. Dynastic Stain. She is pretty dangerous, you know, she could. She has a good claim. She's a pet rat. <laughs> a pet rat plus one health. <laughs> okay, um, I do want that money. You know what? Let's, I'm going to keep her. I think she's dangerous. It's too dangerous to let her go. We need to keep her for now. And actually, the Boltons have kind of lost everything, haven't they? Lord Bannon for the North Faction. There we go. See, this is exactly why. Alice Karstark. Oh, yeah, she's the one who married the Fen. Magnus Sigorn. Huh. 26 years old. Her daughter, who's a Fen, would inherit the Carhold. Okay. Yeah, I think it's too dangerous to let them go. These Boltons have lost everything. They lost the Dreadfort as well, even. Priest Eddard Feli has that. Does Rickon like me? 15. He should like me more. I helped him. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know, I guess. He doesn't... And he's just he's just a young boy. Um, looks like he got flamboyant schemer. And what is this? I would like to give you a seat on my council as an advisor. Well, we accept, of course. I told you as soon as he becomes 16. He would start putting things onto his council. Let's have a quick look then. Legis, there we go. There's the Legis council. Okay, so there we go. It's fixed now. We have Flint. Egbert Flint. Okay. From Flint's finger. Huh. 
You weren't the guy. Oh, did you? Oh, you just become 50. That's why. So we just got really old very quickly. Me, uh, the priest, Pate, Justifier, Justice, Hugo, the big bucket, Spy Master, Edit of the Dread Fort. Hmm. Not sure I would trust him as my Spy Master for you guys, but yeah. Sinestral Barbary and Chief General. Of course, Mage Mormont. Yes, that's a good choice. He's made some good choices there. Rickon knows what he's doing. He's still only got 6,000 men, though. He needs more soldiers. But yeah, the Dreadfort has definitely been weakened. Only 500 men left. But we've lost the Umberlands. We've lost Skagos. And we've also, I think, lost the Neck. Yeah. There's a lot of land we still need to get back. Um, Howland Reed died in the dungeons of Dontos of Tumbleton, who's also in the dungeons of Tommen of the Iron Throne. Bought a favor from Hugo Wool. So Rickon bought a favor from him has increased council power in the North faction. If Grimius, I'll henceforth owe you a favor. Okay, so let's have a quick look at these sort of new laws and stuff. So obviously the new laws and stuff are new mechanic. Um, they can kind of use favors and stuff to try and change things, obligations. We should probably go for the North, that's the one. For the moment, obligations are normal. Realm, minimum low, low uh, realm on authority. Faith authority is low, slavery is uh, illegal. Controlled Realm Inheritance, illegal. First Knight is illegal. Okay. So the Council. Now, Council Power is Empower. Everything else is the Ruler. Owe oh, you a favor. Roger Riswell. Probably would be good of a favor of him. But then again, I'm an old man, and so is he. So we're going to decline for now. I'm not going to join him, whatever he's trying to do. We're, we're both old men. I'll probably... I'm, I, I'm, I'm just surprised I'm not... I'm 72. Wyman, come on. <laughs> Lord Glampy, my son is now 50. <laughs> my son is now an old man. Oh, that's great. Um, my grandson, though, is doing fine. Three years old. Looking healthy. That's all I want, really. She's not pregnant. She's not pregnant. Come on. You guys got to get pregnant. Half things going up north. He's, gonna, he's just going to waste his men in this war. He's going to waste all these northmen. And then we're going to have no defenses. That's what I'm worried about. But okay. A representative from the Iron Bank is here. Okay. We do need to pay this off. I could just ransom this girl. Ransom all the prisoners. Take a loan from a vassal. Um, I do not have it, but we'll pay the interest. Yeah, I need to keep that girl in there. We'll just pay the interest. I think next time we'll have enough money, so that's fine. But I think I'm going to end this part here. Um, not much happened in this part, but this is kind of just to see the aftermath of what happened from the war and the follow-up and kind of just see where the series is going next and the rest of the world, what's going on there. So I hope you guys will return next time. I've been NG Paradox, and I'll see you then.